first of all, I just want to say I don't even know how to start a makeup tutorial because your girl is not a makeup guru, but we're going to try this thing anyways. Today, I'm going to be using the James Charles X Morphe palette. This is obviously the mini palette because I just, I'm not that into makeup yet, so I didn't buy the big one, but you know, there's more room to buy stuff. I'm excited. I never bought a palette before, and this one is really pretty for my first one. So I just went with the Simple Artistry Palette by James Charles and Morphe. It has all these beautiful colors that I'm going to use. And yeah. I guess since I'm officially doing this, I can go ahead and show you the other wonderful makeup products that I use. Okay, so like I got hot. Here we go. I just did my hair. Do you guys like it? <laughs> All right, so I'm basic. I don't use a lot of high-end products yet. Um, let's start with my foundation. Well, technically, I've been doing something different, actually, with my makeup. So let me just start from there. So before, what I was using is just Clinique. I love Clinique foundation. It just great coverage awesome just everything all around i don't know the terms to use i'm not a beauty guru like i said but i just really like this foundation so i got me a nice clinique foundation from sephora and i called it a day so as far as my foundation what i actually use today right now is el maquillage i love this freaking foundation it is amazing um it's matte finish and I really like the matte look. Like it's what I go for from now on. Um, and then I blend in a little bit of Clinique right here just for some extra coverage because I hate my freckles. Because I hate my freckles. People love my freckles, but like when you have freckles, you hate them. Or when you don't have freckles, you want them. It's kind of like the curly hair straight hair thing. Like, you know, you know how it goes. Anyways, so I use El Maquillage and I use Clinique just right here, like just tiny bit like right here and um mostly for the coverage i just use a maquillage um i ordered this online you can do it through instagram you can do it through their website you can do it through their ads um you just answer a bunch of questions and then they send you a free sample and if you like it you keep it and if you don't like it you send it back I have enjoyed the process thoroughly and I've enjoyed the foundation, so I highly recommend. Only bad thing I have to say about Immaquillage is their pumps do not work on their makeup. I don't know if they fixed this since I got some, but the pump does not work. So what I have to do is, honestly, I just keep the whole cap on so I don't get makeup everywhere. And I just pull the whole thing out and then just apply, which is probably not the best way to apply your foundation, but it's what I have to do because the pump doesn't work. I forgot to show you guys like what I preliminarily use for my face. So let's go back a little bit. I use Color Corrector. Yes, this is my quad. Um, I got it from Ulta Beauty. And I thought it was going to be bigger, but it wasn't. But I don't mind because I don't really use that much anyways because my face isn't like completely acne scarred. Um, and I have a ring light so you can clearly see where my face is scarred and where it's not. I usually use it on my chin. Um, there's a spot here that I use it on, and then there's this spot here that I use it on, and that's pretty much it for the color corrector. Um, I use the purple under my eyes just to brighten it out a little bit. That's about it. Yeah. Um, sometimes I like to use primer. If you like to use primer, I would highly recommend this Becca primer. I don't even know. Shimmering Skin Protector. They gave it to me as a free sample, and like I used the crap out of it. Clearly, I cut it. Um, I love this stuff. It's awesome. Makes your skin like you could put it on and just like go out. Like it's awesome. Makes your skin look so glowy and pretty and just like so I used the crap out of it. I need to buy some more. Um for concealer, you know I'm a basic girl. I use the um LA Girl Pro concealer, like everybody else does. Um and I apply it here. Sometimes I put it right here because it's really <laughs> story time. So when I was like I was like 10 or 11, maybe younger. Me and my brother and sister went outside and it had just snowed and it was like a foot of snow. And that's a lot for us in Georgia because we never get snow. It snowed today though. Anyways, so I went outside with my brother and sister and we got our boogie boards that we usually take to the beach and we were just like sledding with them down the hill. So I jumped face first into the snow and like it had iced over about that much, literally. Um, and I busted my face. Um, I still have a scar right here from it, but it really just bruised up and scarred up my 
around my nose right here so i have a lot of dark spots between my eyes and my nose so i use um concealer right here and i don't know if that's politically correct or whatever in makeup land but it makes my face look nice so i always put concealer there 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 and obviously i use it for my brows when i do my brows um and then i cover the color corrector right here and right here and right here with the concealer so i told you guys i use color corrector um occasionally primer concealer then i pack on the il maquillage and clinique and then i use blush and bronzer um i use this morphe bronzer that i got from ulta beauty i honestly didn't know anything about bronzer until he showed me how to use it i put it right there and then on my temples um just because it gives a nice like shape and color and then i use this simple elf palette that i have from the drugstore um and i love this blush right here like it's dark so it gives me a little bit of like i don't know color but not too much like pinkity pink or red it gives me a nice natural color um because it's winter and i'm very bright. all right so after i bronze and blush or whatever i don't know what order you did this in but my shit is all over the place so i just kind of don't know oops i forgot i use this mary Kay translucent powder um it's white I'm white. I'm not white, but you know, my skin is pretty light. So I use this. Um, can't go too dark with the translucent powder. Pretty much just pack it right there and brush it off. And then if I see some other spots that I need to touch up, I do that. Um, I use this for my highlight. It's a very simple highlighter that I bought from the drugstore. So this is what I used to highlight. Mostly this shade and then this golden kind of cream color shade. Because they really pop out of my face. Then on my eyes, what I used to use was this uh, Ellen Tracy. I don't know who that is, but this Ellen Tracy palette that my mom gave me. And I would use this one for like up here. This darker gold for my crease. And then this darker brown for my lid. And then I blend it all together and it would like a nice fall, natural, neutral transition kind of thing. Yeah, whatever that means. But today I'm gonna be using my James Charles X Morphe palette because I love it and I think I'm gonna go with the purple look I did a poll on Instagram and you guys voted for purple so I'm gonna purple it up hope you're excited because I am I don't know what I'm doing but hey whatever I need to buy a new eyebrow pencil because this is getting crazy but I still use them to the very end I don't have a lot of brushes my other brushes in the bathroom I'm gonna go get them but yeah Pretty basic with that. I have my spoolie. I use Great Lash Mascara. Sometimes I use Clinique Mascara, it depends. And then I use The Gloss by Jeffree Star. And this shade is actually called Legends Only. It's really pretty. All right, so I went and got my brushes. As you can see, I don't have that many brushes, but we're gonna do it anyways, okay? So first I kinda like to use this uh, Seabreeze stuff just to get off the extra excessive oil um so i just wipe it like this really simply um, it's not too difficult all right here we go this is my becca primer all right so color corrector you're supposed to pay attention to the color wheel when you're using this um Whatever color it is, the opposite colors are going to cancel out. So you use green on red, if you have red spots, um, orange on acne spots, um, yellow is going to be good for when you have like veins and stuff up here or whatever, and then purple is really for brightening out. Um, and if you have like a bruise or something, it would be good for covering that kind of thing. Okay, so that's really how I do my color corrector. Um, super easy. I don't really have any um, red spots right now, so I didn't really use the green. But I really just used the orange to cover up these acne scars, and then the purple to brighten out my under eye, and then yellow right here um, for some darker veiny areas on my eye. Next, I'm going to use my concealer. And I'm going to put it over the color corrector. Oh, 
open up. You open up. Bet you won't be in my. We should be closer than friends. If you open up, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my cherry and get ya. So this is kind of just what I start with um, every day, looking like a freaking ghost. So actually, typically the first thing that I do is my brows, but um, I got really excited, so I did my color character first. So I'm gonna do my brows now. I swear to you, I've never wanted to be this up close and personal with anybody ever. So I always like to pluck first and just make sure that I've got all these stray hairs. I literally see why A, Jeffree Star shaved his eyebrows off and B, why people do this off camera because it is impossible to do in the camera and not in the mirror. I'll be right back. All right, so that's done. I'm not gonna lie, it actually takes me a really long time to do this because I don't know. So anyways, moving on. I've already concealed and everything. If you can see, I've got my foundation all around my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to that. All right, so when I'm putting on my foundation, one of the most important things for me is this. Making sure it's blended because I don't like when people look at me from the side and my makeup is not blended. The next thing to do is bake your face. Who that? Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess what we can do next is delve into my eye makeup. I'm super nervous. Please don't judge me. My first disclaimer is that I do not own any eyeshadow brushes. So bear with me. I'm gonna use what I do have and I don't have a lot. So I'm new at this. I have to buy some eyeshadow brushes, but right now I'm just gonna use what I have. All right, so first we're gonna dip into Escape. I'm gonna look at the mirror while I'm doing this, but you guys can also see me. The next thing we're going to do after this escape is dip into single, which is a little bit lighter of a purple. Open up. So the one I did was I dipped into flashback and then just applied it like right, right there. All right, now time for the cut crease, which I had never really done before. So here's to me learning something new and hopefully not screwing up my entire look because I kind of worked really hard on getting my eyes to look like this because like, I don't even know how to do eye makeup. So here we go. Literally now we're gonna dip into the the shade artistry and it is that sparkly purple Open up. 
coming up. You O P N, bitch, you won't be me, yeah. Okay, so you can see artistry right there on my lid above the cut crease. All right, so the last thing I want to do is dip into ring light and come right here. So really, to finish this off, you just dip into whatever you want, add more um, of whatever shade you want, and yeah, it's pretty much a look. You just want to grab your lashes, put those on. Boom, lashes. Okay. So <clears throat> the last step is just going to be like a little bit of highlighter that I'm going to draw on my face. completed look so believe it or not this is my completed eyeshadow look and I think it came out pretty good um, considering this is the first time I ever really done eyeshadow and I didn't have an eyeshadow brush so yeah um, my lash application isn't the best either I don't really usually use lashes but did my best so let me know how it looks down in the comments I'm actually pretty excited I think it looks pretty good um, yeah so once again, I used the James Charles X Morphe palette, and I loved it. I actually only ended up using um, Artistry, Escape, and then Single, so. But they turned out lovely, and I'm super excited about this look. I'm gonna wear it, and I'm gonna enjoy it a lot, because it's the first ever makeup look I did, and it didn't come out completely awful, so. If you guys want to see more makeup looks and cosmetic things on my channel, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below letting me know what you want to see next. And, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll pull it off like I did this one. <laughs> All right, Chesitopians, go forth and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, And be blessed. And don't forget to do the damn thing. Mwah! Adios, Chesitopians. <laughs>